Today's episode will cover viewports, uh, how to set up viewports, and how to lock and unlock a viewport. So we would want to insert this their detail into our paper space. So the first thing we want to do is to navigate to our paper space, which is at the bottom left corner. Let's go ahead and click on this tab. And now we're in a paper space. So in our paper space, we will want to insert this detail right over here, just like we have done in the previous viewports. So the first thing you would want to do is to be on an appropriate layer. So the first, uh, you would want to go to your layers, make sure that your viewport layer is selected. And then the next thing you want to do is to put the command viewport. You can just go ahead and type in viewport and uh, select single because this is only single viewport that we want to put. Our setup is going to be 2D because this is a 2D drawing and go ahead and say OK. And over here at the bottom, you can see this as specify first corner of the viewport. So um, you can go ahead and click here make a triangle, I mean a rectangle, go ahead and uh, open it. So over here, you will see the overall, uh, like the model space of the drawings that they have, the current. So uh, our detail is right over here. So what we wanna do is go ahead and go inside of the viewport, which will be by double clicking inside of, anywhere inside of this um, uh, rectangle. And as you can see, the rectangle just highlighted. And you can see that your mouse, uh, when I uh, come to the border, it actually jumps and you don't see the cursor anymore or the AutoCAD cursor. So what we want to do here is to uh, roughly zoom in where our detail is so you can see that. And our, our scaling would be appointed at the bottom right corner where you see this number right now and it says scale to the selected viewport right now we have just random numbers because we just zoomed in with our mouse cursor so after when you click on it you'll get all the autocad versions um uh, scale options you usually would have uh, uh like the basics already set up for you so this detail was drawn at three inches at one foot for it and does the we want to select that and it will already kind of zoom in and stop exactly where it needs to stop. So right now, um, technically this is about it and we can go ahead and kind of exit out of viewport and adjust it, but it, uh, but it is not locked. So by an accident, when you're zooming in and zooming out of the draw drawing, if you accidentally are inside of the viewport and you zoom in and zoom out, you will actually uh, zoom in uh, and 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 then mess up the scaling as you can see over here. So if we go ahead and go ahead and select this again, kind of adjust it here. Uh, what you can do is is you can go ahead and lock the layer, which is this lock button. And when this is activated, now even though that we're inside of the viewport by zooming in and zooming out, uh, you'll actually zoom out the drawing because the viewport is locked. So, so you know for sure uh, you won't accidentally change the scaling of this specific viewport. So by doing that, it will still, you will still be able to adjust the size of the viewport and move the viewport in the paper space but as far as zooming in and zooming out inside and changing the scale, the, that will be locked. So one thing you do, if you want to change the scale, you can go ahead and uncheck it and uh, your scaling will be available again and you can select the new one, for example. But go ahead and lock it, exit. Don't forget to save, control, control S. And that actually concludes our quick tip of the day. Thank you for watching.